morning guys i'm whispering because i don't want to take any chance of getting my little one awake because i've had a great morning i was able to get up and have breakfast and just get some dishes and stuff done which that's going to be my new routine again once i got pregnant i stopped that and i just slept in for as late as my son would let me and i just felt worse like yeah i need the sleep but i more so need a schedule so i feel like i just get so much more done and you guys know i was just having a really rough time feeling like i can't with this lighting i just can't i just i started getting to a point where i just felt like i wasn't being productive and i just wasn't getting enough done and i have like my hands in so many different things right now like i have so many different projects going on that like i'm so excited for but i've got to get up and stop thinking well you know i own my own stuff i can do it on my own time because while yes that's true i just wasn't on any kind of schedule and i need to put myself on one is that me what is that i'm assuming that's me i have felt really good yesterday i don't think i had a single thing of morning sickness except for after i ate i started feeling kind of sick but otherwise i can honestly say that the first day of pregnancy that i did not feel completely terrible the little guy is sleeping in he just got super duper frustrated last night like he got so many tantrums before we left the house he just was like, like so hyper he was climbing all over the couch he was climbing at the top of our couch our couch like has like folding back like headrests and he has now learned how to climb over it and how to like push it down so he can sit on it and we have like no note it every single time we didn't try to entertain it we thought it was hysterical when he would do it just because he would like want to roll down the couch like it was a slide so we're like okay if he's into slides now let's go to the park so we go to the park and i walked away for a second to go put a sippy cup in the car and he chased me down and so my husband took that as he wanted to leave and i'm like no he doesn't want to leave he just wanted to chase me because I was walking away. My husband tries to put him in the car and he throws a fit, tantrum, screaming, crying. So he's now at that age where it's like he wants to try to express his feelings and he doesn't really know how. It's really, really tough for both the parents and the kids. The kids want to be able to express their feelings and tell you how they feel and why they feel this way, but they don't know. And um, the parents have to deal with it. It's all just a phase. And I feel like that's my biggest bit of advice for new moms is it's just a phase. Lots of commotion going on. Got the TV on. Got the baby playing with the fetch with the puppy. Got the vacuum going. TV, I don't know what I've already said. I am feeling so good, you guys. It feels so nice. I got all my stuff done before he woke up. And I have such a big morning routine. Like, so many things I have to do. Feed the dogs. Feed the cat. Let the dogs out. And I have to be out there to monitor them so they don't eat cat poop anymore. Yay! Then make myself breakfast and get some cleaning done. Last night, our garbage disposal was, like, messing up. So I wanted to get that fixed. Just so much stuff that I wanted to get done this morning and what I do most mornings um, are usually pretty busy. So most mornings are really busy and it's really good to get all that stuff out of the way before he wakes up. Feels so good, I needed today. I am so glad that I woke up when I did and I got things going when I did. That is gonna be my new thing. I can't, I can't go back to how I was where I was just waking up when he wakes up. It didn't work before pregnancy. It definitely doesn't work during pregnancy. So we're going back to waking up before he gets up. I got so much stuff done this morning. I got proposals drafted up, website I'm gonna look at. I am feeling so pumped. I'm so amped. I have a goal. I really would like to get the new iPhone. I, my husband really needs a new one. He has the seven, iPhone seven. And his phone is like dying within like 20, 30 minutes. Not that quick, but you get know what I'm saying. And there's nothing wrong with my phone, but it is um, a couple of years old and they've done a really good job with updates though. I don't like the renting. I don't want to rent my phone. Um, I'd rather just buy it flat out so that I can buy the new one. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I really want it. It is expensive, especially because we both want to get a new one. So it's going to be a pretty penny perfect he's been in a good little mood yeah. since waking up yeah do you want to watch cookie yeah. okay well my son has this awesome new trick where when he wants to follow me he just does i went to go get the trash can out of the driveway and i turn around and he's just standing in the driveway with my dog just they're both standing there looking at me luckily ronan was sweet enough not to run out the door but athena she can be off leash outside and it's no problem they're just standing there looking at me and i couldn't let them go too far like it's not a big deal it's just i couldn't let them go too far either because the road is like getting done so my mom is taking my little one for a walk he loves to go for walks Ugh, every time my son gets a hold of this camera it gets gross good morning you guys 
I am trying to be quiet because I really don't want to ruin this, but I woke up before my son today because I want to be able to get ready before he gets up. And today is Saturday and yesterday I got the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. I had went online and asked you guys like when you guys upgrade yearly every two years, what do you do now? Because now you can't do like the two year contract and get like a $300 phone. Now you have to either like lease it, finance it, buy it up front and financing seems like a cool idea leasing seems like a cool idea but I you know I've never leased anything in my entire life well I did lease my apartment and I hated the entire time living there thinking of the fact I was just throwing away money because I never was gonna own it I just was paying to live there which is fine but if there's another option where I can like pay money and actually own something and actually, you know, when I sell and I can get money back, like I'm more for that game. So I went ahead and just saved up a little bit so I could. I bought my husband and myself the iPhone 11. I got the 11 Pro Max in gold and he, I bought him the 11 Pro. That was something I really wanted. When it first came out, I was like, eh, I don't know, my A plus is fine. And then like as time went on, I'm like, I want that so bad. So anyway, my husband is out with his stepdad. They are going shooting I'm with my little one. I want to get up and get ready before him really he probably is gonna be up any moment but we haven't got a lot of good sleep lately with Halloween we didn't go to bed or he, my son didn't get to bed till like 10 we got, went to bed at like 1 on Halloween which is unheard of for us but we just I don't know for some reason we just stayed up gosh I'm like just so in love with this thing it's so beautiful now I'm starving so I'm gonna make myself some breakfast tonight I'm taking photos for my brother I don't know if I mentioned that but Going to Target to get some, some coffee. Just wanted to test this really quick yes. to see what the quality is. I am in low lighting here. Low Ooh, it looks low. really good. We just got home from Target. All I did was get a candle and um, some hair clips. We're just telling them we're gonna hang out. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go swish, 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 swish. <laughs> good job. I love you. Swish, 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 swish. I love you. Mm, I love you. Mine and my husband's anniversary is on Tuesday. So he has a date planned. I don't know what we're doing, but my parents are going to watch my son. So this is our first anniversary where we get to do something, actually do something Number one, on our own, our first anniversary, I was so nauseous. Oh my gosh, I was so nauseous our first anniversary. So I don't think we went anywhere. And then our second anniversary, we had our son. So we just took our son with us. I think we went to the chocolate factory, if I'm remembering correctly, the um, chocolate emporium or something like that. And then this year is gonna be the first year that we get to actually kind of celebrate it. And I'm, you know, pregnant and everything, so I can't like, you know, go crazy, but to celebrate our anniversary this year, which is pretty cool. Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday. Hopefully you guys are not gonna be annoyed by the vacuum. It's Sunday and it's been a morning again. Not bad, but a uh, little man peed through his diaper, which is pretty normal. And he, we had to do like all the laundry. And then I told my husband, I was like, why don't you go get us some coffee? So he went out to get coffee. I was like, I'll make us some waffles. Well, come to find out we don't have waffle mix. And when he took my son out, my son's just like not in clothes to go inside of a store. So I don't know what we're having for breakfast. I guess we're just gonna have eggs. <sighs> so my little one's in the bath right now. And I was just sitting here and I took a shower myself and they're still like eye makeup on me. But I was sitting there and I was like, you know, I haven't really updated them as far as like the pregnancy goes. Um, my morning sickness for the most part went away week 11. It comes and goes, but when it comes, it's so easy for me to like ignore it. And it, I can just kind of like let it pass. I don't feel like I have to eat anymore or drink stuff to make it go away. I've been feeling so much better. So that's been... The biggest relief ever i needed that it's been really hard feeling sick and i was thinking back like i'm 12 weeks now and we'll be finding out the gender sometime this week and i'm just thinking like where i was like 10 weeks ago when i found out i was pregnant how nervous i was and how scared i was and how sad i was at the beginning because i felt so sick and it made me so sad and hormones were raging and i was just all over the place and I just was thinking about that and I was thinking about those weeks and how you forget those things so quickly. I mean, I've only felt well for like a week now 
and I already kind of forgot what those weeks were like, but it's so nice getting out of that. Like I feel so much better and I feel so much more excited. I had so many days where I just didn't feel good and I kept documenting how bad I felt and how I just was feeling sad a lot and I was feeling very tired and sad and overwhelmed and scared and all of the feelings and Honestly, once your hormones just chill, you feel amazing. Like I feel back to our routine, back to feeling well, get back to just kind of my normal day-to-day -day life, but also planning for a fourth member of our family. So <laughs> they're, they're messing around. So I'm gonna get his pajamas. I have to make his milk and hey you guys. So today is Monday. We are working on getting my little one down. My husband went to the gym, so while the little one naps, that's the best time for him to go. Tomorrow is mine and my husband's three year wedding anniversary. And so I got to open my gift early because it came and I, it's what I asked for. So I knew I was getting it. And his is coming later cause he got his like custom made. He let me open mine early because it came today. And so I was like, can I just open it? I already know what it is. Can I have it now? So he let me open it. And before you guys say anything, don't judge me. This year, the theme or the gift you're supposed to give is something leather. Being the fact that I'm having my second baby next year, I was like, why don't I just get like a leather diaper bag? I have not been too thrilled with my jujube bag. I love the print. I'm very disappointed that it ripped so early on. Before I got pregnant, I always told myself I was gonna get an Itsy Ritzy bag. I loved Itsy Ritzy. I love their styles. I love their social media game. I just really enjoyed Itsy Ritzy. So I always was an Itsy Ritzy fan and I saw Natalie have Jujube and I really fell in love with Jujube brand And I was sent some really awesome products from Jujube and I still love the bag I don't think it's quite as good quite as good of quality as this though being that it was leather I was like, why don't I get a new diaper bag? So I got the pink diaper bag from Itsy Ritzy and it is beautiful. I have all my stuff in it. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. Has the stroller straps, the front tassel, the front pocket. So I know a lot of you are gonna be like, well, you have a boy, so why do you have a pink bag? And my husband and I both agreed that this one just looked so much classier. It had like way better quality. It was more expensive, but it was just like way better quality, way classier, and just like a way better looking bag. I believe he got it off Amazon. Even if baby number two is a boy, I don't care because I'm still a girl and I'm allowed to still be feminine, although my family is all boys, potentially. It would be nice if my baby number two is a girl, so then this kind of makes sense and everything, but if not, it doesn't matter if you have a pink diaper bag or not. So that was my gift for tomorrow, and I'm really excited. We're going somewhere. I have no idea where. I guess it's like a surprise, so. but we had breakfast, and then we ran to the Apple store. I swear I feel this baby move. I like swear it. It could just be muscles twinging, I guess, but I swear, being that this is my second pregnancy, I feel like I can swear that I feel this baby move. Could be in my head. But we went to the Apple store today to trade in our phones, which I highly recommend this system. I know you can sell your phones online, which is what I used to do. I used to always buy my phone and then sell my old one online and or I'd gift it to my sister. My mom would usually buy it for like a fraction of the cost, but I used to always sell it. And when you sell it, you have just so many different little things that could go wrong, shipping go wrong, the seller not be on, or the buyer not be honest, just different little things that can go wrong. And plus it takes a while. So we went ahead and went for the trade-in option. And so we traded in our phones, mainly because we were gonna get the same price as if we sold it online anyway. I went ahead and I looked to see if I would get a higher price. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have gotten a higher price. Um, got money back today, like a good pretty penny back. So that was really cool. And then we kind of walked around for like a split second and then we ended up leaving. I love going to the mall like when it's like early in the morning work hours and everything like that because no one's there and it's just like a wide open mall and it's just nice. But we waited forever at Apple. There was no reason why we should have waited that long. I saw people take like newbies before us, which was frustrating, but it's no big deal. So anyways, yeah, we did that and then came home, had some lunch together and then I went ahead and I called to try and see if my OB got my results for the... Um, like gender test and the chromosome test. They did not. She was like, eh, it could take three weeks. And I'm like, um, we were told one to two weeks, like already waiting two weeks is a long time. I'm probably gonna just call, I'll probably call again on Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, we have decided that we will find out the gender and then we're just gonna tell family. I think what we're gonna do is as soon as we find out the gender, we'll probably like buy like balloons or something and then just like go to their house and just let them know. As far as nursing goes, he does nurse in the morning still. He stopped, like I went maybe two or three days with completely no nursing whatsoever. And then all of a sudden he started up again and I am still making milk. Thank you. 